On this episode, we launch our brand new tender. <laughs> Find an eerie skeleton. Is there any missing people in this area? Marine Rescue pay us a visit and we try to get out of the state as COVID cases in Sydney continue to rise. Maybe Queensland won't let us in. I'm Christina. We are all. And this is John. Together we just packed up our lives. Christina Castellos joins me now. Put our careers on hold to sail around Australia. Oh, this is magic. Sail your boat under the bridge. In our new home, Takana, a 50 foot Genoa Sun Odyssey. <laughs> Join us as we take her to the Great Barrier Reef. If you're new here, welcome and thanks for joining our crew. Today, we've moored up in the Hawkesbury River, away from Sydney, where COVID cases are rising. We're in a small, secluded spot called Pinter Bay. If you've ever sailed around Australia, chances are you've heard about the national parks, forests and native reserves in this region, just north of Sydney. It took us about five hours to sail here from the Harbour Bridge, but just as we were going to do some exploring on our brand new tender, we realised it was looking pretty bare with no rego decals. So at the store, they had no more Vs left. Mate, very good. It's a little skinny on that side. (laughs) John put our friend Chris to work. He's joined us for a couple of days. Pretty sure we ate our cheese off that chopping board last night. They'll do for now, we can always just swap them over later on. This is going to bug you, you'll be like, like, oh my god. (laughs) That one. (laughs) So the boys are getting adventurous and they're taking the tender out for the very first time. Yep, now you can just slowly lower it. Yep, keep letting it out. We're just going to go get some milk. No, legitimately, what are you doing? We're holding a rope with a tender on Nah, what are you doing? Tendering. <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. Well, we just changed the fuel line, or we've extended the fuel line, and we're going to go and give it a run in this bay so that if all hell breaks loose, you can come pick us up. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how to use this job. Sally hell. Hey Hey, guys. How you going? 10-4 rubber ducky. Oh, no! Oh! 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 Once the kinks were ironed out of the outboard, we ventured down the river in the winter's rain. So we've just made our way up here to the Great North Walk. Takana is somewhere out there. That's the bay that we parked in with the boat. But we're just going to go for a little walk and check out the sights. Really feel, but I really like this dream. Don't need to feel anything but you floating in my bloodstream. On our way back, we spotted something in the water. Is there any missing people in this area? Oh my gosh. After years of reporting on crime, my imagination ran wild. Yeah. Whoa. It's got a tail, so it's either a dog or a kangaroo or something like that. No, it definitely has a tail. Yeah. Ooh. I think it felt real because just a few months ago, I was reporting on murders and kidnappings. Michael Rawson appeared and tried to kidnap a two-year-old child. It was one of those moments where you realise things aren't the same anymore. Once chasing celebrities like Johnny Depp on the Gold Coast, now we're chasing down stingrays. I know which one 
I'd prefer. <laughs> keep going straight. Keep going straight. Keep going straight. That's it. You would have got that. That would have been epic. <laughs> you would have gone straight over the top of where you You're were. You back. Simple life is so much sweeter, even if the skies are grey. You and me now. Marine Rescue play a vital role in this region. Crews help boaties in trouble out of the goodness of their hearts. It's a volunteer-based service and they were training in the area. This is our friend's dad. He's come to say hello. <laughs> You're stowaways. Yeah, mate, yeah. stowaways. We're just having a coffee. We're about to have a coffee. Tim was a former flight engineer on a 747 and is now volunteering his time. I looked up and his stair mark was straight out the back and I'm like, that's not right. <laughs> John and Chris, who are pilots, also asked him about a deadly plane crash that happened here a few years earlier, right where we were moored. Six lives lost when a seaplane plummeted. Into Volunteers were some of those first responders who rushed to the scene. Happy voyaging and journeying. Cheers. Thanks so much. Thanks so much, Tim. What awesome visitors! I can't believe that we just had them come on board and visit us. We soaked up nature and good wine before we went to explore Avalon. As soon as we left that beautiful bay, we have endured the wet, grizzly rain. Okay. Avalon is part of Sydney's northern beaches. Its surfy, relaxed lifestyle has made it hugely popular. While we visited, there were no restrictions in place. Life was normal, no masks, and cafes were open. We had coffee from this cute van parked on Surfside Avenue, ordered sustainable organic bread. Didn't even know that existed. I popped past a boutique bookstore where I spotted my friend's latest thriller before heading to the local Bowls Club for a jam. Then it was time to say goodbye to Chris, who was heading back to Perth on the other side of the country. Oh, I'm gonna cry! John and I then moved to Kana ahead of a big sail tomorrow. We parked up at Coaster's Retreat, a protected anchorage close to the heads for our voyage north tomorrow, as we try to stay clear of COVID and continue our journey to the Great Barrier what Reef. A beautiful sight this is. Oh, you're in pit water. A beauty! <laughs> Getting ready to head to Newcastle. Okay, so we're just gonna stow everything away. Alright, let's do it. How beautiful is this location? <gasps> So we just took the main sail halyard off, getting it ready so that we can put the main up when we go out past the heads. Cast off. Are we away? Yep. You need to let me know. I did. You can never hear me. Let's just swap so you can see because I think you need to see what it's like. Okay. Yeah, it just steers towards those boats over there. Okay. With three weeks experience, we're learning every day what works and what doesn't. Let's see. You know, you're not even saying anything. <laughs> see what I mean? Just do it one more time. If I'm talking to you like this, loud, and I face that way, it's not. Okay. Do you reckon he just went like, I've cursed off it? That's what he's done, hey? 
Volunteer Marine Rescue also told us they offer a free vessel monitoring service. They take down your details and track your journey to ensure you arrive to your destination safely. Marine Rescue Sydney, Marine Rescue Sydney, this is sailing vessel Takana, sailing vessel Takana. So before we set sail out into the ocean this time, John logged on. What's your ETA and are you going to the CYC? Over. Uh, 1700 local is our ETA and we're heading for the Honeysuckle Marina in Newcastle. Over. Thank you for that. I'll log you on. Please call Marine Rescue Newcastle as you enter the Hunter River or by 1700 if you need to extend. Over. Uh, will do. Thanks very much. Uh, appreciate your help today. Thank you. Over. How cool is that? Have you set the alarm on your phone? Yeah, okay. Yeah. Hey Siri, set an alarm for 4.30 p.m. I set your alarm for 4.30 p.m. With a storm in the distance, we suited up. All right, we are ready to tackle any rain that is ahead. Oh my gosh, it's rolly. The storm blew through as we headed up to Newcastle, a 50 nautical mile trip north that took us around seven hours. I have to admit, I was lazy this leg and slept half the time. We have been motoring, unfortunately, the majority of the way. The wind was just way too fluky. And when we put the sail out, it was sort of flapping a bit all over the place. But the whole point of this journey is to get up north. In the meantime, John is just cancelling his star time. Newcastle has the world's busiest coal export port. It's also home to one of Australia's largest Air Force bases, Williamtown which was established during World War II. It had an important role, protecting Newcastle's port and steel factories. It's come a long way since, now home to Australia's next generation fighter jets and aircraft. John admiring the scenery. We have just arrived to Newcastle. Oh, it's a long day today. Um, and yeah. make sure, yeah. You slept for four hours. <laughs> well, it was a, it was a like, <laughs> seven hour trip and I slept for four of them. <laughs> Thanks, Captain. <Tough> day. <laughs> so we are just getting ready to leave Newcastle. So I just went to the shops, put everything into containers. So we have ham, some capsicum. I've marinated some feta cheese and I put all the veggies also in these containers. We have like tuna, like tomato sauces, oat cereals. So there's plenty, plenty here. After spending a couple of days here restocking our supplies, we made a dash for the border as COVID cases in Sydney were rising. We are doing 9.5 knots right now. We are literally traveling 48 hours direct to Queensland. No one knew at this stage that Sydney was about to experience its longest lockdown yet, and cases would rise into the hundreds, shattering news for a country that had been able to keep its island COVID free. So there are another 22 cases in New South Wales today. So we really just want to make our way to Queensland once and for all. What's going on up there? We channel stuck. <laughs> How did that happen? Well, went in the hole and it won't come out. <laughs> While I am making brownies, John is just listening to the news. He's worried we won't make it into Queensland or into the Gold Coast. <sighs> it's crossed. People who live in or have worked in four Sydney government areas in the past two weeks are to be locked down from midnight. So glad we got out of there. Despite the uncertain times, our friend Jürgen. Hello. Good day crossed the border to help us get to Kana into Queensland while we were still allowed. Mother Nature turning it on for Jürgen tonight. Hopefully it was worth the effort for him. He had to catch a couple of planes here to join us. 
plus he's not sure if he's going to be able to make it back to Queensland if the borders close. So he is taking one for the team. Coming up next, we have an unexpected detour. We were wanting to head to the Gold Coast, but we can't. Sydney and all of Greater Sydney is currently in lockdown. Maybe Queensland won't let us in, but we'll just have to play it by ear. 